Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, are the windows closed? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, welcome to, uh, this is July 20th. Good morning. Hi. So here we are. This is uh, Monday, July 20th, Worksheets for Students. Just a quick reminder, this Thursday, our summer camp starts. So if you have not applied to summer camp, um, then our school is closed as of this Thursday. Please follow the calendar. And uh, it's in this, this morning's newsletter as well, so you can just click the link. And just a reminder as well, everyone, please make sure to come to school with a mask. Um, check your temperature every day. If it looks like it's getting close to 38 degrees, then please call the school right away so we can decide what to do. Okay, so let's get started. This is worksheets for students. And yes, worksheet number one, it is hot, right? It is hot. And look, you have three locations here. You have the beach. Oh yes, we're going there. You have the park and school. So this summer camp, we're, we have, we're going to three different locations, right? Sorry, that's, it's blowing around because we have our fans running, right? So windows are open, changing the air. Fans help to change the air. Okay, number two. This is just so you remember, right? This is at school. At school. So please trace, trace. Don't forget to color. Right? Number three gets into... Number three is at the beach. At the beach. At the beach. And don't forget you can color. We are going to make sand castles too. The beach near Hello Kids Chiba is wonderful for making sand castles. I think Mariko wants to build like a kind of like a palace or something. Mm -hmm. She get the cups out there and maybe like a spoon to carve out. Make some windows. Okay, this is number four. Number four says at the park. At the park. Okay, and you can color the green trees and the yellow sun. Uh, let's call it, let's make it a red sun actually because it is hot, right? Oh, careful at the door. Hi, morning. And this is number five. Number five, right? It is in three days. So summer camp is three days away. Summer camp is three days away. One, two, three. Just so you can understand the spelling of the numbers as well. One, two, and three. Okay, number six, getting harder, of course. Now you have to really be able to understand the sentence you're reading. It says, at the park, I can eat juicy watermelon. So draw your line from the park to the watermelon. Okay, very good, you guys, very good. Now let's move on. Oh, number seven, uh-oh, where is this? At the park? No, at the, at the beach, at the beach. I can eat juicy, what is this? Pine, right? One of our compound words again, right? Pineapple, pineapple. Okay, number eight. Sorry about the fans running in here. It's blowing everything. Number eight, even harder still. All of my friends want to eat one small juicy fruit at the park. So these are your friends. What fruit is, what fruit matches what they want? And where do they want to eat it? So circle and color only the correct pictures, okay? Number nine, even harder still. <laughs> Look at this one. So this is one of two, of course. So the question is, sorry for the fan, we will go to the beach. What food should you put in your basket? Well, here, this is the blue shirt's friend, the red shirt's friends, and the other color friends. So they're saying we need 14 small blue fruits. Okay, so these are the blue shirt friends. We need two big red fruits. These are the red shirt friends. And we need three big green fruits. Green shirt's friends. So that's one of two. Okay, but number, but two of two... How many, how many of the different fruits do you need? So I should put right, 14 blueberries, but how many of the other fruits do you need? And why? Hi, Anna. And why? You have to think why, okay? So think about the fruits. Think about how big they are when you cut them up. 
how many pieces can you cut? How many pieces do you think you can cut? Right, so you have to really think about your answer. It's not easy. And number 11, our last one, a score out of 20 on this one. What happens to our bodies when the weather becomes very hot? Do you remember? Right. And why do we need to eat juicy foods and drink more liquid? Why? Well, juicy foods are full of liquid, and of course, liquids are full of liquid. So why do you need to drink more of those when your body starts to... Okay, you can think how to word your answer, but I pretty much gave it to you there. Okay, good luck everyone. That was um, uh, Monday, July 20th, Worksheets for Students. Check out the newsletter. I was at Hello Kids Chiba yesterday and it looks amazing. So, okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> see you soon.